At around 1 p.m., Dr. Chizabes just sneaked to the mini price area of downtown Kampala, where he was cut off by police. Business came to a standstill as police tried to tow away the former presidential candidate's car. Police are towing Dr. Chiza Besge's car, the former presidential candidate, and on all over the side, people are chanting his name, others saying, Soji Kwatako, or do not tamper with the constitution. Blitz were fired to disperse the people who had allegedly pelted the police with stones. Some suspects were apprehended. Besige was towed away in his car to Central Police Station where he spent the entire afternoon. Earlier, near Parliament's main gate, a group of activists led by KCCA Councillor Muhammad Segirinya standing in the neighboring KCCA headquarters compound, exchanged words with police officers who had denied them entry into parliament. After an exchange with police, paper spray was used to disperse them. <laughs> Shortly thereafter, police entered the Kampala capital city authority premises and arrested two of the suspected protesters. During the day, anti-riot, regular, counter-terrorism, and military police were deployed around parliament to prevent any anticipated demonstrations. The K9 Department of Police was also deployed to sniff for explosives and beef up the force. A A group of heavily built men in plain clothes, who have several times been deployed alongside the police, were also seen on the streets. Others remained inside the compound of parliament. NTV spoke to some MPs and the locals on what they made of the heavy deployment. We shall assert ourselves as uh, members of parliament that we can only be a parliament, a civilian parliament in uh, a conducive environment. This is not uh, a military installation and uh, I don't think we are under attack by the population. If anybody is scared of the population, it's their trouble. They should act good. President Museveni is saying that he brought a peace in Uganda. This is not a peace. Agama J. The heavy police deployment follows weeks of bitter exchanges and demonstrations by different politicians and groups opposed to the removal of age limit cap from the constitution ahead of an anticipated motion in parliament on the matter. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.